hi everyone welcome back welcome to the next video of the swelt kit so in the last video we talked about one demo application now in the the future videos we are going to write uh, some applications and we'll group all these features together and understand so till now we talked about the routings right and we talked about how the page based routing works how we are creating how we are doing a data fetching at the client side and at the server side we also talked about the store how we can use a store with the swell kit and uh, we talked about i guess uh, how we are passing the data how we are fetching the data from the server side client side we talked about the routing when we talked about the important aspect layouts right so there are a couple of more uh, important aspects we talk about we'll talk about the hydration we'll talk about uh, how to manage the session once user is logged in right so we'll talk about session here we can just do a simple login or we can use firebase for that for providing a authentication we'll talk about forms let's say you are writing a form how you can do the validations so if you talk about any framework uh, what all things come to your mind let's say if you talk about the client side framework react what all things we discuss okay so we talk about how to create a single page application with the help of routing because routing is making that app possible single page application then you talk about the component creation data passing how to fetch the data life cycle life cycle data fetching and state management these all different topics which come to your mind whenever you talk about any framework how it is rendering the process of rendering rendering the component and then deployment when you talk about simple psr application client side rendered application like uh, react angular the deployment is easy you just create a build using npm run build and you just put that in the s3 bucket and then expose that through the cloud front and your dns domain like route 53 or you have your own godaddy domain which you can configure <clears throat> when it comes to the, the server side as uh, SSR server side rendering these are all the topics routing data fetching stores which is also part of a state management and the layouts how we define the layouts session because now it's not a client side login everything is being managed by server the managing the session of the user once user logs in how to deal with the forms how to do the forms validations all these things are common concept like forms you do it in the CSR SSR so these are some of the topics and then when we write uh, the whole application we combine all those things together we will build the layouts we will write a store we will do the routing using page based routing we will write a page.server.ts or page.ts export the the load function for the swell components and then session management session management is just a simple okay how you will know that user is log in right and how later how you can protect the routes like here I, I have written the routes but how I can protect them because I need to track the user session and you need to publish the user, user session everywhere once you know that user has logged in either a cookie based authentication you are using or a firebase auth0 or whatever whatever the authentication mechanism you are using and a simple login service you are using you have to somehow tell the server side uh, components or server side routes that user hex has, has logged in you have to manage the user data across the sessions so we will see how we can manage that in the server side swelt js and how we can protect the route so that only logged in user can only access them form validations and the form submissions like these are called forms actions because you are submitting the html form to the server side to directly to the server side page components and uh, then we will talk about hooks like there are a couple of things you can plug in with each and every component let's say i wanted to check the user session before you you even publish the route if user not logged in i will redirect him to the login page or if user is already logged in i should not allow him to go to login page again let's take him to the dashboard page so these we can configure in the hooks 
so these are actually the core concepts in the then we can talk about the advanced routing dynamic routing where you are passing the lot of parameters in the url and uh, we can also talk about the error pages how you can define the error pages if something goes wrong how you can let the user know that okay something is wrong okay so these are the topics i think which we will more focus but you are we are also going to so use these topics of routing data fetching client side fetching server side how we can manage the store using writable readable stores how we can define the nested layouts how we can just submit the form and do the validation using jod library or joy or any validation library or yup yup is also popular validation library either a client side or a server side how we can manage the session where user is getting logged in either using auth0 or just by submitting the username and password through a simple form okay and the hooks the important aspect so let's talk about these things that we are going to cover in the next video but if you talk about the features here also you actually protect the routes you actually create a custom private and pub public and private routes where you check the user session the only thing is here you maintain the user session at the client side the jwt token or the cookies cookies are server side but you read the cookies and you check the expire if the cookies is still valid and not expired then you allow user to access the protected routes so somehow you are checking the user is logs in either a checking the jwt token or either making an api call checking if this token is still valid or just sending a token to the backend the apis will decide okay this token is valid or not <clears throat> and we have a life cycle methods data fetching data management using stores i mean state management libraries are there like redux and all but in the swell.js yes, we have these uh, uh, stores readable writable stores which can uh, store your data like uh, it's doing a state management for your application and the lifecycle hook lifecycle typically there is no lifecycle uh, in the server side but we are writing a swelt component in the swelt kit so we can use the lifecycle hooks provided by swelt js in swelt kit okay so let's uh, start on this we will do a simple authentication in the authentication it's all about attaching some session to the keys so that when the request comes again from the client side again we can check the cookies cookies are valid okay user logs in allow him to access the protected routes the form submission is a little different in the swell kit than any other framework like uh, next.js exjs here you submit the action to the server and then server validates and lot of do the lot of things okay so without delay let's uh, tune in in the next video and we will talk about all these concepts together in one single application